Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Have you ever been in a drag show? Have you ever looked at drag queens up close? Have you ever checked a drag queen's crotch? I know, that question seems a little bit strange, but as makeup, eyelashes and wigs are, also the tuck is part of the drag culture and the art of drag. So if you want to become a drag queen, or if you know a drag queen, or if you are a drag queen that has a little bit of a problem with their <coughs> then this video is for you. Because in this video I will talk about the tuck. So I guess a lot of people have a huge question mark on their mind right now because they don't know what a tuck is or what a tuck is used for or what a tuck can do to you. Every man that wants to do drag has something between his legs, more or less, as we all know. But no matter how little it is, if you wear a skin-tight bodysuit, you need to put it away. And I never thought about it as a huge problem. You know what I mean. First of all, we seriously need to talk about some urban legends and some bullcrap. Personally, I have never seen any drag queen who is like putting some strings on her dick and balls and like putting them backwards behind her legs. I've never seen this and I don't think it's... I mean, if it's happening, then please, like, I want to see the receipts. There are many, many urban legends going on about drag queens tucking and putting, putting something in a you know what I mean? And this is not happening. And seriously, if you're not super excited in the club, then it's just some pieces of skin that are hanging around down there. I guess the most popular... <laughs> Alright, so I guess the first and most popular and easiest way to tuck away all your junk is by using um, either Spanx or a tucking panty or lots and lots of pantyhoses, or a combination of the two of them. And if you don't know what a tucking panty is, it is a tight and not extremely flexible underwear that drag queens love because it just presses it all down and away. If you have the hugest things in the world hanging down between your legs and you use four or five pairs of some serious pantyhoses, there is nothing anymore. There is nothing. It's like, it's flat. The only thing you need to do is stand with your legs apart, go in between your legs with your hand, push everything back, take your hand out and pull your pantyhoses up again. In that way, everything is quite kind of gone. It also depends what you want to wear. If you wear a 50s dress with a petticoat, you don't need to tuck at all. You basically can wear boxer shorts underneath that dress because, you know, who cares? But if you want to go all the way and you have like a bodysuit on, you need more than a pantyhose tuck, possibly. Or if you are a girl like me and you don't want to wear like five pairs of pantyhoses, you prefer to shave your legs and be like real deal, touch that skin, honey, you will need something else than the pantyhose tuck. And there is where we start the real thing. So this is where uh, we have to talk about this little baby here. Um, this is my personal favorite tape to tuck my chunk away, but there are many, many other um, solutions. So people use duct tape or um, the I don't know how it's called, the crocodile thing in the US, um, but this is a medical tape, it's called Loico tape. It's a hell of an expensive thing, but it holds on to your skin really, really well. Sometimes I also do lifting tapes with these babies and it's just amazing. I just want to show you how strong that tape is and how well it stays on the skin. Can you see that? I'm pulling, I'm literally pulling. You know what I mean? So this is possibly going to end up being flatter than some of your girlfriends. There is not even like, there is nothing. And there are also two ways to do it. There is the half tuck and the full tuck. Let me show you around, honey. So when I was thinking to do this video, I was thinking about how could I demonstrate a half tuck and a full tuck and the whole tucking thing. Because no mama, I'm not spreading my legs on YouTube. 
I just brought some paper and a pen and I will draw it on for you. So what are people talking about when they say a half-tucked chunk? So it means that you tucked away your balls, but you can still go to the toilet all night and that makes a huge difference. So this is the demonstration of a half tuck. Here you see all that chunk and then it's transforming into the main chunk and some tape on the sides and this tape is responsible to hold back the balls. So basically the only thing that you need to do is get some rubbing alcohol to make sure that your skin is like oil free and the tape can stick to your skin very well. And then you go ahead with the tape, you put your legs apart. The best way to do it is alone on the toilet. You use one piece of tape for the left one and you use another piece of tape for the right one and you put it all back to the end of your spine. And there you go, honey, half tuck. But if you are somebody who does not like to do half things, then you want to go all the way. You wanna wear your skin tight outfits, you wanna wear your skinny jeans, you wanna wear your body suits, and you want the full tucking experience. Well, why not, honey? Let me show you around. So this is the way how I would demonstrate a full tuck. So this is the before and this is the after version. So before you have the full chunk with all extras and then you only have tape. Well, it's also not that difficult. You just use the rubbing alcohol again, you wait until it's dry and then you start with the main chunk. So you take your tape again and you place it just at the point where your wiener is starting to come out of your body and there you put the tape on your body very very well and then you can start to glue the main part of your chunk back to the end of your spine well and then when the main part of your junk is safe and securely tucked back you come to a stage of tucking that I would call the Bells of Paris. So in the middle, you're wearing your secured, taped, tucked wiener, but on the sides, there is still a lot of dingy dongy holly gongy going on. The solution is easy and there are two of them. You just take two pieces of tape and you glue them all back and put them secure in between your legs. And then there is another question that I get very often from uh, boys and men who never did drag. They ask about the serious ball parts of the balls. These literally need to go into your body. That is a little tricky to describe, but if you open up your legs and you try to put like your ball ball into your body body, there is a certain part of your body that is open to take your balls in. And that is not even a big problem and it's also not painful at all. You just need to find the right spot and then it's just like, And then, if the ball found its space in your body, you just need to secure it with tape. And that's it. The last thing that I want to talk about is how to remove your tuck. So yes, if you're a hard girl, you can just go to the toilet after your show and just rip your tuck off, but be careful. Mm -hmm. But in the end, you know, it's not that hard. You just take the tape and you take it off. Don't take it off like a band-aid, like no, don't do that. Take it off like tape from your dick. Slowly and with emotions. And another thing that can be really, really helpful to remove your tuck is some oil. The hell? So if you have some olive oil or some makeup remover oil, then this will also work to just remove all the glue from the tape and make it like go away easier. Well, all right, this was my video about tucking your junk away and I hope you really liked it. If you did, give me a thumbs up, follow my channel and follow me on Instagram. I'm Tamara Mascara and my tuck is flat as See you in my next video, bye.